Engine fan's not running. Engine's running. Um, you can take this and ground it out, you know, here or down here on your alternator, down here, you know, just make sure it's not going to get, the wires aren't going to get caught up in your fan when it kicks on or anything, down here, anywhere you can find a good electrical ground. And then the red wire, or the red one, <coughs> you want to zoom in down here, come down low, you want to get, I'm going to use this little red pointer, on the end of your alternator right here. Okay, that's the wire coming off your alternator going to your battery. So you got power right here. 12 volts, 13 volts, 13.6. You got power right there. Okay. Okay. So you can come over here and this should have a fuse. I need to put a fuse in this one. And you can clip that on. Like that. When you clip it on, that compressor clutch is going to kick in if that compressor is working at all. Okay. Now, you kick it on right there. Make sure you're, you know, when, when you're ready to do this. You just leave it hanging here. Come over here. Put your can of put your can of 134 on. Make sure this is unscrewed all the way because that's a little piercing thing for the end of that. Put that can on there. Get it up on there. Plug it in. You know, like that. Nice and soft. Screw that down all the way. That'll pierce the can, and then unscrew it all the way again, and that'll give it pressure, hold it upside down, hold the can upside down like this, give it a little shake shake, okay, and now what I do is I lean against the side, and I come over here with my little alligator clip, and I clip it on that clutch, and I watch it kick in, okay, now with that clutch kicked in, it's going to suck the refrigerant right up out of this can, and you're going to feel that can, it'll get lighter, and it'll start getting really cold right here down there on the bottom, it'll get really cold be like whoa that's getting really cold and you should keep shaking it until you feel that can is totally empty because with this little thing here you know what are you gonna do with your excess what are you gonna do with leftover so you know you put that one can in there then you close this valve all the way after it's empty you pop this off and then you come over here and release that clutch okay that's how you put a can in here you know if you have to do it roadside like an emergency, you know, and you're, you're going to die from heat. Now, once you do that, unplug your, unplug your compressor, okay? Get this out of the way. Plug it back in where it goes, okay? And you need to reset your AC, you know, your, your cab controller, your air conditioning, because it's going to have a fault because you unplugged it. And obviously it wasn't working anyway, so... You go in your truck and either reset it, if you know how to reset it, or if you don't, you don't have a circuit like I put in my truck, you shut the key off and you wait 30, 45 seconds. You turn the key, let it do its click, clack, click, clack, start up, crank the truck, run back out here with AC on max, you know, in there and blower going and everything, and, and just wait about 30, 45 seconds. If there's enough pressure in the system, it'll kick on and run. You know, one can, one of these cans, I can tell you for a fact here, you know, you think, oh, how much do I have to put in to get it to freaking recognize it? I'm going to tell you something. One of these little cans, it's a 12-ounce can, with this thing totally empty, you know, you, you drained it completely. It was a, you took something off, okay? One can will make it come back on and run or make it kick in, okay? Only, it only takes one can make it kick in on its own. Once it kicks in on its own, if that's if that got you going, then you know roughly you have about 12 ounces in the system. Maybe, you know, maybe there's 14 or 16, okay? You know, you knew that, first of all, a little bit of refrigerant made it come back on and run. And second of all, you know that it's low, and it's only got about a can, you know, less than two cans in it. So, this system on the ProStar, I got a, you know, I got bunk. I got a bunk on my truck, you know, the back sleeper. I got, you know, it's a pretty big system. It's got the extended, you know, the sleeper evaporator, you know, the sleeper cooling system separate from the front. So, you know, my truck takes three pounds uh, from what I've been told. And that's four of these cans. So I put one can in it. It starts coming on and trying to run by itself. Well, I know I'm at least between one and two cans now. 
So if I put two more cans in it, that's going to be between three and four cans. It's going to be just right. So put two more of these cans in it, boom, it's good to go. Uh, and that, you shouldn't have any more problems unless these sensors are going bad, like I said. You know, it should run. Uh, and if it goes down on you again, goes low, you know the trick. Make Carry a little plug. Make sure yours has a fuse in it. Carry a little plug adapter. Be very careful. Now, the reason why I was talking about the engine fan, when you're using this, this is very important. When you're using this, and you reach over here and you click that thing on, and that clutch compressor kicks in. If you're running, and you're charging this thing up, you know, you're shaking your little can. If that engine fan comes on, you know the system is, is getting enough pressure that it deems that it needs to reduce the pressure. Okay? If that engine fan suddenly kicks on on you, and you know it's not because your truck, you know, your motor's getting hot, it's because the AC kicked it on, then uh, I don't recommend leaving this, this plug and that clutch turning for more than about 30 seconds after that. So you hear that thing kick on, finish out with your can or whatever, you know, shut it off, you come over here and unplug that, unplug this, and then wait for that fan to kick off again and wait another 30, 40 seconds for it to cool back down. Because if that thing kicks on, that means you you got a lot of pressure in there and it wants to reduce it. If you leave it running and that fan kicks on to, to reduce that pressure, and you leave it running, and you leave it running, and you leave it running, and you don't take this off, and that clutch is still going, 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 going. If it builds too much pressure, there's an emergency. I don't know if you want to zoom in over here. There is an emergency blow-off valve. And it's right here, right here, literally. This thing right here. Okay, you see that? Yep. That's an emergency blow-off valve for the compressor. It will blow refrigerant straight out of the back of it, all over your turbo, all over this whole area here. And the irony is that a lot of these refrigerant cans have a greenish glow-in-the-dark UV dye in them so you can see leaks, you know, with the UV light. 